Um, I'd be lying to you if it said it doesn't have a nice ring to it. Um, you know, I certainly, uh, certainly if you throw Andy's career coming up, you know, sort of coming up with him and, and, and playing with James for most of my career, um, it's really tough to feel like, um, feel like the number one American, um, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, you can put Andy's career on top of mine probably ten times and, um, you know, he's done a lot more than I have. Um, but I, I've been playing well recently. Um, you know, it's new for me, obviously. It's only been uh, since Monday. I think it's Wednesday now. Uh, it's, you know, with Andy losing uh, his points, um, I certainly don't know what it feels like to, to defend a master Series event um, like, he, like he was. And so I imagine it's a lot of pressure. And you want to, uh, you know, you sort of want to take over or you sort of want to jump over somebody by, um, you know, gaining points rather than somebody losing. And I think it was a little bit of both there last week. And... Um, now he sent me a text and said, um, so you passed me. And then uh, uh, he said, congratulations, make no mistake, I plan on taking it back. And I said, it's probably yours anyways. I got an email from Billie Jean King, which was really cool, um, um, you know, uh, saying congratulations. And uh, I got a lot of, a, a lot of um, nice texts and emails, um, you know, you been out here for as long as I have and make a lot of friends and um, I, I think it's a, a, a I think people can kind of tell that I've changed uh, my work ethic and um, physically and mentally and, and everything pretty much in the past two years and uh, people can see that I'm working harder and, and doing the right things and so they hopefully they uh, they're excited. So you're at a career high at the age of 29. What are your goals for the rest of the year? That's huge. Yeah, um, it's. Uh, I'd love to get into the top 10 one time in my career. That's a huge. It's been a huge goal of mine. Um, uh, and then obviously getting there, you want to stay there. Um, you want to set goals high, and if you uh, you know if you achieve some of them, great. And if you don't, you know you got something to work for. And I think. Making the Masters Cup would be another a huge goal. Um, would be extremely tough, um, but I feel like uh, um, if I can get through the clay, pretty 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 good, and, and um, you know win some matches in in Europe, and um, you know I'll be seated in some of the events that I've never been seated before, so I don't have to play. I won matches over there, but never uh, you know always had to play a guy in the second round or the first round. That's top 15 in the world, something like that, and. You know, so that you can gain some points there and get some luck with the draws, and um, I feel like I can do well over there. And then, you know, you kind of reassess after Wimbledon and see where you are and um, see how many points you've got, and and uh, you know, reset your goals again. I got a, I got a, I had a great summer last year. I got a lot to defend um, as far as my ranking is concerned. But uh, uh, if I can stay healthy, I, I don't see uh, any reason why I can't have a successful uh, summer. Consistency is a huge thing. Um, with us and, and, and year after year, really month after month, to, to you know have a, a really low number next to your name in the rankings, uh, you got to be consistent. Um, and I've never I've never been consistent uh, for whatever you know. There have been a lot of reasons. There's been uh, uh, you know some injuries, some unlucky injuries, some for lack of work ethic injuries, uh, for being out of shape. Uh, um, and I've had some good results before I lost all the weight, but uh, never been consistent. Uh, and so uh, uh, that was one of my major goals was to try to just, you know, not have a, a, a good summer like I did last year and then go away for six, eight months, um, which is what I've done in the past. And, and that's why, you know, playing well in Memphis and Delray Beach and, and obviously Miami, um, you know, that's three, three weeks out of four, um, uh, discounting Indian Wells that uh, that I made the semis in, and those are big tournaments. So that's uh, I've I've played in a lot of scenarios, Davis Cup finals and you know finals of big events and things like that. And, um, but I've never played in the semis of a Grand Slam. Um, and uh, uh, goals, I mean that's a huge you know that's a, a huge one for me is putting yourself in that position. I mean if you put yourself in that position. Um, Anything can happen. I mean, I've, I've beaten a lot of really good players over my career, and um, 
that would be two matches away. I wish I had 10 more years, but I've never said, oh, I, I wish I would have gone back when I was 21. I, I would never have been uh, uh, as mature uh, at, at 21 as I am now. Um, I, I wouldn't have been uh, as experienced uh, in match situations or, or uh, a lot of it is, you know, having a good week. Um, which everybody does from time to time, and then and then turning right around and going to the next city and doing it all over again. And I was never good at that. Um, you could see a lot of examples of, of mine where I would win or lose in the finals of a, of a big event or an event period and go to the next week, and I was pretty content with what I had done. Um, and, and that's just simply not the case anymore. I, I come here um, as focused as I've ever been, um, wanting, to, uh, wanting to win this tournament. I'd love to you know, carry the flag as long as I can, and when Andy, when and if and when Andy takes it over again, then he can have it, because um, uh, there's probably a lot of pressure that goes with it, and I, and I, I'll I'll certainly have fun with it um, and enjoy it as long as it as long as it's here, and um, this is my first week uh, here, so hopefully, the, and I'm, I'm I'm happy that the first week here is um, that I'm the number one American is in the states and uh, somewhere where I've had a lot of support. Um, over the years, not only from the fans, but the tournament as well. So. With the whole obesity thing coming up with Obama and Agassi, they're doing that whole campaign <laughs> against it. Have you ever thought about doing dieting tips? Um, yeah, I mean, my, my wife uh, uh, wants me to do like a diet book or a cookbook thing. Um, uh, to be honest, I've been so busy, you know, we're so busy uh, uh, that I haven't, uh, haven't thought about it too much. But if the opportunity um, yeah. was there to sort of... Uh, um, you know, make some diet tips or a book or something like that, I certainly would, uh, would think about it. Kim Kleitz was just saying that she's thinking about leaving the game forever after the Olympics to have kids, like kids on the, on the mindset right on now. Right? Yeah, um, if it was up to her, I think we'd have 10, 10 <laughs> kids by now, but uh, um, no, it's hard. Look, uh, you want to, uh, you know, I, I would love to be around all the time. Uh, I don't want to see, uh, I don't want to be on the road while um, my kids are uh, uh, growing up and I miss a lot of things. I want to be hands on and, um, you know, so it's hard. It's hard, but, you know, you know again, you want to, you know, we'll start a family soon, hopefully, and um, you never know when. Is there an age that you're going to cap it at or oh, an age no, that you no, see no. tennis ending for you? Or are you oh, going to go as long no, as you look, can? I look, I hope I keep going. You know, I, as, as long as I'm comfortable with the level that I'm at, um, as long as I'm comfortable uh, walking out on the court and feeling like I can compete, um, uh, I'll keep playing. And, and when that's uh, when that happens, then I'll know I'll know when it's time to stop. So, who are the up and comers as far as you're concerned with as the American players? Yeah, we got a lot of good players. We got Ryan Harrison and, and Dom Young and, and Jack Sock, and they had a lot of good players. Ryan Sweeting, uh, who's playing here, and. Um, you know, so uh, uh, we'll see if there's. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a you know an Andy Roddick in that group, and, and you know they just don't come along very often. So we'll see. What did you think about playing Milos Raonic? Uh, I don't like playing Milos Raonic. <laughs> uh, beat me twice now. Um, he's a, a great player. He's going to be a good player for a long time. He's got a, a built-in serve that's going to keep him in probably the top 20 for a long time. Is there any advice you would give them as they're coming up with what they yeah. should stick to? I think, uh, uh, I think there's uh, uh, you know a few things that I that I learned from uh, work, and work ethic is a huge is a huge thing. Uh, I don't think people put an emphasis as much on the mental side of the game as they should, uh, and I've learned that over the years. Um, yeah, so there there are a few things. I'm not too much of a of a mentor. I certainly. Um, I'd certainly let yeah. anyone know if they asked uh, uh, my opinion or something like that. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to trying to beat these kids too. You know? As far as stringing is concerned, does your stringing patterns change for when you play on the court, when you play in Indian and Wells in Miami? Yeah, look, uh, 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 this, the tension is the biggest thing for me. Um, and uh, I'll change my tensions if I'm playing during the day or if I'm playing at night. Um, uh, balls, uh, the speed of the court is, is uh, uh, there are a ton of factors. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much.